It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the Great Hall. Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Hmm. The blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the White Hills won't see it that way. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. We can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Oh, that's disgusting. Well done. These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a dis despicable act of treachery and betrayal. <sighs> Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Well, what do we do now? The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young, and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of Warcraft. I imagine I'd be pretty good with a sword. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. The Ironwood Grove. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Ryan. 
Never easy being the fourth born son. Lord Forrester, it was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick, he was our best warrior by far. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tengren. Look, I'll show you. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. This might help. Mm hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrod. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrod, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... So sorry. Mato. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. It was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us. Especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask... Was there anything he said? Any last words before he... passed? If you can remember. It would mean so much to the family. He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course. My lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. 
Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones who should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. If not now, when? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was his family they killed. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. Ouch. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But... I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. But, but where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's oh, done shit. nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. Uncle, my place is here. Who would defend the house? You said we need men who can fight. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I won't put others at risk. I'll go. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it, then. You can have my horse. And I'll see you have plenty of food, but we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you want to stay, but Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. He promoted me. At the Twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock, and, and I at Roderick's side, but... It was well deserved, Garrett. You worked hard and served your lord with honor. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said... The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. 
From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the Wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. <clears throat> Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. Wait! Be safe. Find him. Could you? He hides too well, and if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I'm here. It's okay. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... and Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Garrett to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. He let me ride one of his pigs once. It was fun. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. Sir Royland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. I don't care what he says. I can protect you. What does milksop mean? I don't know. But I know it's not good. <laughs> Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like... like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. <laughs> Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? <gasps> You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah! Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. 
I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. It's for you to decide for yourself. I promise I won't change. Good, because I'd rather have a brother than a lord. You'll have to have both, I'm afraid. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. Oh, if only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the lord. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Lord Whitehill is a mean old man anyways. Someone should tell him to leave us alone. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well then. <laughs>